Fifi Dobson is a Canadian artist that gained mainstream prominence in the early 2000s. During her rise in that era, she was compared to Avril Lavigne, who is also from Canada, mainly because the two share a similar punk rock and alternative musical background. Although she gained more attention in her native Canada, her reach would spill over into the ears of US listeners. She had a punk rock spirit while delivering beautiful raspy vocals. An audience fell in love with the Canadian singer. Fifi Dobson's entry into the mainstream was very promising, but over the duration of Dobson's career, her momentum quietly died down. Born Felicia Lily Dobson, the Toronto singer began sending demos to record labels at the age of 11. While shopping for representation, she would be boxed in the R&B and pop genre because of her mixed race background, although she was clearly punk. People were skeptical that a black girl can make rock music and be successful at it. Fifi was sought after by Jive Records, but she walked away from the label because they wanted to develop her as a mainstream pop star. The artist would later sign with Nelly Furtado's manager Chris Smith, who would arrange showcases with several labels. Fifi Dobson auditioned for Island Def Jam, and in her showcase, the singer would get signed 30 seconds into her first song. The debut album for the singer was self-titled. Fifi Dobson was released on December 9, 2003 under Island Records. In 2004, the album sold 500,000 copies worldwide and went platinum in Canada, shipping 100,000 copies. The album received generally positive reviews and was praised by fans and critics. And the album spawned four singles, Bye Bye Boyfriend, Take Me Away, Everything, Don't Go, Girls and Boys. Fifi would encounter issues with her label when it was time to release her sophomore album, Sunday Love, in 2005. The album was pushed back multiple times after its leading single, Don't Let It Go To Your Head, and This Is My Life, failed to chart. The album was cancelled by Island Records despite positive reviews from critics, and Fifi Dobson was dropped by the label. The project was then self-released on June 13, 2006. After the artist was released from her label, many started to compare her image with Rihanna. In Reese's 2007 Good Girl Gone Bad Error, who at the time was also signed to Island Records. Yeah, this is an old rumor, but it can be possible. This happens a lot in the music industry. Artists' entire career plans get sent to other teams on the same labels all the time. Rihanna had this sweet image prior Good Girl Gone Bad, then Fifi was dropped and Rihanna had a similar look to Fifi. The edgy fashion, the short black hair, and Rihanna started to incorporate rock elements into her sound. Now, I'm not saying this is true, or I believe it, or not. This is just some interesting shit. Sunday Love would later be reissued in 2012 digitally on iTunes by Island, making it her third studio album, although technically it's her second. Some of the songs on Sunday Love would be covered by other artists, like Don't Let It Go To Your Head was covered and serves as the first single by Jordan Sparks, as The Blonde was covered by Selena Gomez and The Scene, and Start All Over, an album reject was recorded by Miley Cyrus. In 2007, Fifi was re-signed to Island Records by one of their sub-labels 21 Music, and she began working on her second official studio album, Joy. Joy was released November 22, 2010. On the album, the artist made a transition from her punk roots to more mainstream pop songs. The album produced three singles, Ghost, Stuttering, and Can't Breathe. Since its release in November 2010, the album has sold 60,000 copies in Canada and 271,000 in the US, nearly 350,000 copies worldwide. Currently, the singer resides in Nashville, Tennessee, and she's set to release her comeback project sometime in the near future. Although Fifi Dobson was never overly popular or sold the most in her career, there is no doubt that she has spearheaded the rock era as one of the few black female artists. Now, it's a lot easier for artists to break out and do multiple genres since Fifi's debut. She has influenced the culture and was ahead of her time. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, well, don't. <laughs> anyway, sh anyway, 
share your thoughts below, and subscribe to Don Angelo for more videos. Select all so that you'll be notified when I post my next video. I am Don, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.